thank you for clicking on my video today. My name is Dominique and I'm going to be doing an update for my Partners in Cream Project Pan. I am like a week late, but it's summertime and my kids are off and we're like deep in sports right now. Anyways, um, this project was created by Steph Lyons and Dolan from Outward Processing. I will link them both down below. And we're just gonna get right into it. It's not that exciting this month. I apologize, but it's summertime, so I'm not really wearing that much makeup. Like I do have like a full-ish face right now. If you're not following me um, on my eyeshadow panning journey, it's like I'm either doing a pink look or a teal look. So I'm having to accessorize and dress accordingly anyways. Um, so let's go ahead and get into it. So first off, I have my Pixie by Petra Beauty Primer. Um, my goal is to use this up. I have used this 56 times. It was almost brand new. Um, I'd maybe used it a handful of times when I first rolled this in. So we are getting slim and trim here. Um, I don't foresee us having this in here. Hold on. Sorry about that. It's it's summer break, so all of my kids are home. Uh, anyways, I've used it 56 times. Um, I probably have another two-ish months to go, um, and then this should be out. I really do enjoy this, but I'm not using very much of it. I just put like a little bit on my hand, mix it with my prime, um, my foundation, and I'm putting on a very very thin layer. It's super super hot here in California, so anything I put on is gonna melt off anyways. So I'm trying to be mindful of like wasting if it's not if I'm I'm like I'm literally going to a baseball game. Um, in like an hour so I'm gonna sweat like all this off so I'm glad I only put just a little I don't want to waste my stuff you know anyways next is this um, liquid eyeliner it's an ipsy collab with Betty Boop it's actually really good again it's what I have on today only thing is I can tell this is starting to dry up so it is like your typical eyeliner brush and when I put this on now, the tip is kind of dry. So I have to kind of like drag it on and wing it out on its side instead of being a super precise um, black line, which I'm not crazy about because I do like it like much, much thinner and then kind of cat eye out. And today it's just a thick line across. It is what it is. But um, this is almost done. I have 30 uses in this. I probably have another... I would guess like 10 ish before it gets to that like annoying like skipping you know like when eyeliner starts to dry up it like skips and you have to go over it a million times I'm almost there so if I can get 10 more uses out of this I'd be happy with it um, so maybe like another month and we should have this one out as well next so I have this little sugar eyeliner it is really really nice it's like this really pretty emerald color and I do have it in my um, waterline, I do enjoy it. And my goal for this is to um, sh like com sharpen it to the R or like for when I have my cap on it, just the S is showing. So I'm close. I did sharpen this before I started this video and I sharpened it twice in the last month or whatever. Um, used it 12 times again maybe like another 12 ish and it should be out I don't think I'm going to use green eyeliner 12 times in the month of July August but who knows maybe I will so that's staying then I do have this little ditto um setting spray it was new when I rolled it in there's not much left to it it's one of those weird packages where like this is like how it would be like that's how the label is like to be able to read it but it's rounded at the bottom so it has to like stand like this which is fine but it's just strange um i've used this 11 times so maybe i think in the next month i should have this rolled out as well then okay so i don't have it with me but i had rolled in last month a chapstick to um because i always work on a chapstick well i rolled in this one from makeup revolution it was like a heart one it had like a little heart moisturizer in it and it gave like a really pretty like cherry popsicle look on the lips but i'm all i was allergic to it 
So I used it probably like six, seven times. And I'm like, man, why do my lips hurt? And it was just my top lip. So like my top lip got all like swollen and crusty. And I had like little, like a little like sores on it. It was so strange. It's, I mean, it's gone now. After I stopped using it, it quickly went away. But that's the only new thing that I used. And that's the only thing that I quit using and it's gone. So I assume there's something in there that I am allergic to, was allergic to, whatever. So I decluttered it. Like I'm, I'm not going to torture myself. It's makeup revolution. I think it was like a $3 chapstick. Not going to happen. So we decluttered that. So I only have that one thing to replace because you know primer staying these two eyeliners probably have another month left in them and then this one is staying as well but honestly like i mean this one's gonna stay but this dido might be done or ditto and then these eyeliners might be at at my goal also so i think next month i'd have a really good um update to update on but so i am a dry gal like i am dry through and through like i put oils in my hair oils on my face but something about summertime, like I'm horrible about putting on lotion in the summertime. And I don't, I think it's just because it's hot. Like I'm already sweaty. Like the last thing I want to do is put like more stuff on after the shower. Um, but I need to be better about it. I am dry. My feet are still dry. My elbows are still dry. Like I still got dry spots on my body. So I'm going to roll in not one, but two lotions these lotions have been sitting in my bathroom and on my counter in my vanity for far too long like put together it doesn't even make a full lotion um this is the bath and body works plumera and hello sunshine so these are like summery scents to me and like i said this one hangs out in my bathroom and i have what maybe a fourth of it left and then this one hangs out on my vanity right here and i have a little less than a half left in it so my goal is gonna be to use them both up um, maybe I'll throw like one in my church bag or something because I do sometimes get to church and I'm like man my knees look a little ashy TMI not even like it doesn't even necessarily need to be in here like that just anyways we're bringing in some lotions that one's deceiving um, like I said they're like almost done anyways I just need to push through to get them out of here and then two I can put these in my summer empties because I literally haven't finished a lotion and I don't know how long and I have a lot of lotion like this little tray right here this top part is perfumes perfumes and then on this side is perfumes but right here is all lotions too that I need to go through so I think putting a lotion will give me like that extra push to get stuff out because I did I think it was in this project too I had like the little hemp no it wasn't it was deco panning I had like the little hemp lotions um I had like two or three of them in here and I used them up quick and in summer I mean winter I am like lathering the lotion on too because I am dry but um I just don't in summer and this is a long-winded way to tell you that I'm putting in two lotions Anyways, good luck to you if you're doing this project. Good luck to myself. I'm hoping to have a really good update next time. Like I said, I think that setting spray should be done. And I might have my gold mat on both of those eyeliners. And it'd be kind of cool too. To like at least this plumera that's like almost done. Like get this one done and over with. Like I just need to actually put lotion on. Come on, Dominique. You're a dry gal. Anyways, good luck. I'll see you soon. Bye.